Yep. Go. Okay, so uh, this is Josh and Seth with hey. Step Eleven. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi Ration, 3D printed case, because of course. Uh, and this is a DRB script using Pi Piper, which I, I used last week to toggle an LED. Uh, this time we're setting up a DRB service. Uh, this guy, which basically has a toggle method that will flip a thing on and off, pin dot on, pin dot off. Uh, we load him over DRB and we say, hey, you know, stick around all the time. So he's running over here all the time. And then over here, what we have is an Android app. Uh, I've got JRuby in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, so I've got a JRuby scripting container. Um, I actually had to go in and say, like, the JRuby bytecode version is 1.5 because Dalvik lies and JRuby gets upset. Uh, if you're using Rubato, I think this stuff's covered for you. Uh, I make a new scripting container. I have to specify the load paths. There's some, uh, the standard lib is in a jar uh, that has, I guess, non-standard load paths. Uh, and I had to set those up. Took me a while to figure that out. Um, when you click a button, it calls this on LED clicker click uh, method, which runs the Ruby runner, which is an async task object. So right here, we have just an inline Ruby script that connects to that DRB server URI, creates a new DRB object on the toggler, and then calls the toggle method every time you press the button. Um, so it actually is going to make a new connection every single time you press the button, which sounds inefficient, but who cares? Um, and then on post execute, I actually post it. I, I pop a, te a toast up, but it doesn't say anything, so that's not exciting. Um, anywho, so we end up with something like this. So that's an Android app, and it's running on my my phone here. And when I press the button, the LED toggles because Ruby. That's a that's a freaking Ruby method call that I'm throwing over the network. Come on, that's amazing. <laughs> Yes. All right, that's all I got. <laughs> Later.